In less than 5 minutes, you will know how to get syntax highlighting and auto completion for DAX in Notepad. Let me show you how. The first thing to do is to go to my website, the link is in the description. Once you are there, download the zip file to your preferred location, navigate to the location, extract the archive, and you will see that in this archive there is one XML file and a subfolder, and in this subfolder there is yet another XML file. Do not get confused because they have the same name, that is how it has to be in order to work. Now, once we have that, we are going to jump into Notepad++. There we go to the language menu, user-defined language, define your language. In this little dialog, we hit the import button, then of course we navigate to the directory that we just extracted, select the first XML file, not the one from the subfolder, click open, say import successful. And right after that, you will see that DEX now is visible here as a language. And if you go to the keywords list tab, you can see that it's very full. What you will also notice is that in the application itself, DEX does not show up yet. In order to get it there, we have to restart Notepad++. Then we can select DEX from the language folder. And if we now insert some actual text code, we will see that it's nicely formatted. Now, this is all you need to do to get syntax highlighting. However, what we don't have yet is auto-completion. So how do we get auto-completion? First, we close Notepad++, go back to the extraction folder, enter the auto-complete folder, copy the XML file from here, and then you need to navigate to the installation directory of Notepad++ on your PC. In my case, it's the default path, program files, Notepad++, auto-completion, and there you just paste the XML file. You will get this warning, but you just click on continue, the file will be pasted, and then once you start Notepad++ again, and you start typing text functions, you will see that the autocomplete feature is indeed available. And that's all there is to it. When I selected these colors for syntax highlighting, I tried to find colors which work in both settings, in dark mode as well as in light mode. However, just because it works for me, does not necessarily mean that it works for everybody. So here is how you can adapt these colors yourself. Once again, you go to the language menu, user defined language, define your language, you select text from the top drop down, and then you could go to the keywords list, for example, and say that you want to change the style. As you will see, there are eight groups of keyword lists, and for each of these groups, you can set a different style. Currently, all these groups have the same style, simply to make it consistent, but you can get very creative there. If you click on one of these styler buttons, you can see that you can change all kinds of attributes for the font, the font type, the size, if you want it to be bold, italic or underlined, and of course its color. And as soon as you do a change here, you will see this reflected in the editor window directly. And that's it. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I will be happy to answer. If you found this even remotely helpful, perhaps drop a like, even subscribe. In any case, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, see you next time.